Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on drawing straight line graphs. Uh, so this is a key skill and there's two methods and you need to know both. Uh, so the first method is a table of values method. So in this example we have to draw a graph for the line y equals 2x minus 3. And in the table of values method uh, it does what it says on the tin. You construct a table of values um, and you substitute in the x values to work out what the y values are. So for the first one if we have an x value of minus 2 we substitute that in, we get two lots of minus two, minus three. That is minus four, minus three, uh, which is minus seven. So our first y value is minus seven. And for the next one, we have an x value of zero. Uh, so two lots of zero is zero, minus three gives us a value of minus three. So our next value is minus three. And if we move on, we have two lots of two, minus three, which is four minus three, so that's one. Uh, so our next value is 1, and then finally we have 2 lots of 4, minus 3, uh, so that is 8 minus 3, which is 5. So our last value is 5. So we use each of these values in the table as a coordinate, where the top row is the x value of the coordinate and the bottom row is the y value of the coordinate. So all we have to do is plot the points. So the first point is minus 2, minus 7, uh, so we plot that here. And then the next one is 0, minus 3. So that's there. Then we have 2, 1. So that's here. And the last one is 4, 5. Uh, so that is this value up here. And now, uh, all we have to do now is draw the lines through all of these points. So if you use a ruler, like I'm doing here, try and be as precise as possible, you should get a line that looks like this. And as usual, we'll add a label to the graph. So that is the line y equals 2x minus 3. So moving on then, the second method is using the equation of a straight line y equals mx plus c. So in this example we have to plot the straight line graph with the equation 3y plus 9x equals 12. Uh, so uh, the first thing that we have to do is make y the subject of the expression since it's not in the form y equals mx plus c yet. So let's just rewrite the whole expression 3y plus 9x equals 12. Uh, okay and then next what we want to do is make sure y is the subject so we subtract 9x from both sides. So we have 3y equals minus 9x. I could write the uh, expression as 12 minus 9x, but I'm gonna write it as minus 9x plus 12, uh, since we want it in the form y equals mx plus c. So this is a bit closer to the form that we want. Then all we have to do is divide both sides by three, uh, so that should give us minus 3x plus four. So that's our equation of the straight line. So once you've got an equation in this form, y equals mx plus c, it's really easy to draw the graph. And that's because all you actually need is the values of m and c. Uh, so we'll start with the value for c, that's the y-intercept. So that's the point at which the graph crosses the y-axis. So our value for c is this 4 on the end, so c equals plus 4. So that means our graph is going to cross the y-axis at plus 4. Then all we need is the gradient, which is m. Uh, so the gradient is minus 3 in this case. So what that means is that for every one square we go across, we go 3 down. And it's down because it's negative. So uh, if we take our ruler again, uh, let's go 3 squares down for every one square we go across. Uh, so you should end up with a graph that looks something like this. Oops. If you ignore that little flick there, just rub that out. Uh, so therefore we have a graph of y equals minus 3x plus 4. If you'd like to practice this topic then why not take our online exam? You can get there through our revision platform so if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions and you get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So if you're interested uh, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.